Hello everybody, welcome back youtube.com slash geekloud for another Let's Install today, Star Wars Rogue Squadrons, and I'm told pilots are wanted, and that's me, I've got the VR headset and everything, I'll be there, pilot, I'm a pilot, I can fly, let's install, I am putting the disc in, nope, first thing I'm doing is taking out, I'm guessing the Mafia disc, and putting in instead Rogue Squadrons. Uh, pretty standard fare with respect to the case, stock standard, no manual as such, but the ever rarer, if that's a word, the ever more rare, the ever increasingly rare button map. Now, I love a good button map. I wish every game put one of those in. I really respect it. Thank you, EA, for uh, paying the extra cents, pennies, whatever it was to get those in the manual. I appreciate it. I think that is Good value. All right, let's see what we've got. Rogue Squadrons. Now, what are we? Uh, oh, I should apologize. This video is going up four days late. Uh, lockdown in Victoria. The postal system's all crazy, and Amazon just took it a few more days to get here. Totally understandable, unfortunate, but I can tell you that the version 1.0 patch is 2.102 gigs in size. Shouldn't take long to install, which is nice. This itself is, oh, I need to drop myself down so you can see that if I do some of that one, please. Uh, so version one is coming off the disc and it's a whopping 3.65 meg. So I guess it's only installed the thumbnail at this point. We have four minutes left on the patch. Let's see what this says. 11 gigs, 12 minutes, let's install. Oh, no, wait, I forgot to mention. Uh, there is, uh, this is being installed to the internal SSD hard drive, of course. Now, you can upgrade your own uh, hard drive. They come by default from Sony with a platter hard drive in them. They're old, they're slow. Rip it out of there, throw in an SSD, halve your load times. Video on this channel, link in the description of this video. Please enjoy. Let's install.
All right, getting exciting now. Installing the update file. Gotta love that, Rogue Squadron. Oh, yes, close it. Dang, I really should have closed that before I tried the install. Oh, well. Now, it did just say installing the patch. I'll let this get into a menu, but then I'll pull up the information screen. We'll get all the, uh, the vital end of uh, install stats so we know the particulars. Common question is how big is it? Installing, still at 62%. The install isn't complete. There you have it. Good to know. Uh, okay, what is this saying? I've read and accept. Oh, gosh. How do we, like, next continue? X. X. Of course, I read every word of that agreement. I considered my actions carefully, and then only then did I select the accept terms and conditions button. There is no way... I rushed that decision, ignored everything that was written, and just hit X to continue. Certainly not a thing I'd do. That would never happen. Uh, okay, I'm assuming all this is fine. Accept and start game. What I'm hoping for is a main menu with that install progress bar. I don't want it to start a cutscene. I don't want it to start in a mission. I just want to be on the main menu and seeing the uh, install progress bar. That is my hope here. Let's see how EA go. They're usually pretty good, EA, with the way they deliver their UI and... Uh, Letting you know what's happening in their menus, they're usually uh, pretty good. I don't know who runs their uh, sort of UI team at EA, but specifically on the Battlefield franchise, Battlefield and um, and Star Wars, uh, what was it Jedi? Star Wars Jedi something something just came out. New Order, Lost Hope. Gosh, I don't know. There's too many things. There are too many. Oh, also of note, this is PSVR compatible. I have the PSVR headset. But I believe that's like an additional thing. So I'm hoping we see like main single player campaign and VR as two separate entities. I certainly hope uh, it's not mid campaign. I have the option of putting the headset on and off. That uh, that wouldn't be good. Oh, now guys, come on. I just want a progress bar here. I don't want to see any of that. What do we got? Install size. Now it's saying it's version 1.01, which means the patch was applied. The install size is 22.12 gigs. This is uh, four days after launch here. We are launch plus four. On the back, it's telling me it's a 40 gig minimum install. So that seems fine. What I don't like is, uh, well, we can see there, yes, that the update finished two minutes ago. Uh, and I'll just verify, double check, triple check. Application install location is definitely the system storage. That's the internal SSD hard drive. Upgrade your own from the platter hard drive to the twice as fast SSD hard drive video on the channel. Link to that video in the description. Check it out. I highly encourage you to do it. It's great. I wish I hadn't hit circle just then because now it has to repopulate that menu. That's unfortunate. I was aiming for X. I'm trying to dive into the system storage and I'm trying to look at the Rogue Squadron's entry. Now, we did see the shortcut, but my main point was triple checking that it was on the internal storage. And it is. Okay, so what we're going to have to do now, I believe it's still installing, but we're going to have to try and find a main menu. So I will be part of the Rebel Alliance. Thank you. Uh, and then uh, accept is square, standard, surely, accept. Uh, well, I guess recommended for players with experience. That'll be us. Accept and start. Are you ready to start the single player story? No. Well, I'll say yes, but only in the hope that I can bounce out to a main menu and see a uh, progress bar for the install. So basically, we're going to see this. I don't believe the install has completed yet. So I'm going to skip this scene. I'm going to skip all scenes as possible. This, will be a noble this is not about seeing the scenes. This is about seeing the install, people. Give me the main menu here. Remember what I said about EA earlier? I take it back. They are not showing me all the data they want. No, they are normally very good. It's just that I'm not on that main menu. I bet the main menu has exactly what we want. Let's go have a look at the main menu. Let's hope for a progress installer. That's what we want to see. 85% install. I just saw it. Yeah, I don't care about any of that. There we go. Look at that down the bottom. We've got quick match. I'm assuming online multiplayer and training. Cool story. The only question is where is the VR stuff? Is it in the challenges section? No, challenges kind of look like, um, you know, what can I say? Battle pass sort of stuff. Battle pass, battle pass and rank. 
Now, I've just said Battle Pass twice. I've not seen a store. I'm not saying that they're selling a Battle Pass. I was possibly being a little loose with my language then. I'm going to leave it to sit right here. You can see we're currently 89% installed. Let's get that up to 100. Let's install. Ninety-nine percent. Guess what comes next? Guess what happens next? <gasps> Come on, one hundred percent. There it is. Installation progress. I assume that message is going to clear. There it is. We are successfully installed. We are launch day plus four. We are version one point oh one, and the install size twenty two point one two gig on the internal disk. That's with patch one point oh one installed. Four days after launch. Thank you very much for watching. YouTube.com slash GigLoud. Check out the rest of the channel. There will certainly be a Let's Play up of Squadrons uh, in the coming days. Keep your eyes out. Like it. Subscribe it. You'll never miss it. Oh. oh Finally! Yes! Avengers, assemble! He's trying to sweep up leaves in this world. And another one! <laughs>